Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous tutorial guys, we have studied some statistical functions. And we have just only covered those functions guys, which we are really helpful in report. And rest functions guys, I have skipped. Because they are mostly used by statisticians. Like standard deviations, beta and so on. So we have studied only few statistical functions. And now in today's class guys, we will start new category of DAX functions, which are table manipulation functions. These functions are really useful guys for making reports. So let's start the class guys and here are the DAX functions, which we are going to cover in today's class. So let's start with this select column DAX function. So first we go to the reference page and here we will read the definition first. It returns the table selected columns from the table and new column specified by the DAX expression. And here guys, we have three parameters, table, name and expressions. So with the help of this select column DAX functions guys, we can create separate table. So let's go to Power BI desktop to understand this DAX function with practical. So firstly go to sales table guys to see the data set. So here we can see guys, we have lots of column in our sales table. And now guys, this time my requirement is I want to see this product column, country column and this quantity and per unit price column in a separate table. So with the help of select column guys, we can create this table. So guys, this is a table manipulation function guys. Here we are creating new separate table. So we don't use calculated column and measure. We need to use this new table. So I will simply click here on new table and let me rename this table name as products and quantity and now I will write my DAX function which is select columns and look at the parameters guys. So the first parameter is table. So my table name is sales comma. So the next parameter is name one, which means here we need to enter the new column name. Let's suppose I want to enter the new column name is countries inverted comma close comma. So the next parameter is expression one, which means which column you want to fetch from sales table. So I want to fetch country column only this time. So I will simply enter country, which is from sales table. And let me close the bracket first and hit enter. So here we can see guys only country column has fetch from this sales table. And if you guys want to add more column, you simply need to edit this formula. You need to remove this bracket and put it comma here. And now I will press shift plus enter. And the next parameter is name two. So under name two parameter guys, we need to enter the new column name. Let's say this time products comma. And the next parameter is expression two. So I will take product column, which is from sales table and close the bracket and hit enter. So here we can see guys, our product column has fetched from the sales table. So in this way, guys, you can add multiple columns according to your requirement. And now I will add quantity column as well as per unit column. So I will simply press shift plus enter. And here I will write quantity. And the expression three is quantity, which is from sales table comma and the last parameter I will enter here. Let's say per unit price. And under expression four guys, I will use per unit price, which is from the sales table and close the bracket and hit enter. So here we can see guys, we have added four columns name, which is from the sales table. So in this way, guys, you can use this select column DAX function in our Power BI desktop. So let's move towards the next DAX function of our today's class, which is add columns. So firstly, go here in reference page and understand the definition first. So it adds calculated column to the given table or expressions. And here we have guys three parameters, table, name and expression. And now let's apply this DAX function into Power BI desktop. So I will simply go here on data view and let me rename this measure as add columns. 
so i have replaced this measure with add columns so guys this getting me an error that product since it's already exist that means this product column is already exist in this sales table you guys can see here if the column is already exist in any table so we cannot use with the help of this add column dax function we can only use with this select column dax function so what we need to do guys we simply need to go here in products and quantity table and let me remove this product column and now let's press enter and here we can see guys it's again getting me an same error but this time column name is different which is quantity because this quantity column is already exist in this sales table so guys let's try this dax function with different columns so what i need to do guys firstly i will go here and product and quantity table and let me remove all the columns and now i will apply this dax function with new column which are not existing one so simply i will select the table name here first which is sales comma and here we can see guys we have same parameters name one and expression so under name one parameter guys i will enter the new column name let's say total of sales inverted comma close comma and under expression one parameter guys i will multiply quantity with per unit price so here i will use calculate dax function under calculate guys i will use sum of quantity which is from the sales table and close the bracket so i want to multiply quantity with per unit price so simply i will enter shift plus 8 which is multiply sign and now i will write my next column name which is sum of per unit price which is from the sales table and close the bracket and hit enter so here we can see guys our new column has added which name is total of sales so here we can see guys this is a separate table of product and quantity where new column has added with this separate new table so this is the only difference guys between select column and add columns with the help of select column dax function guys we can fetch existing column from different tables but with the help of add column dax function guys we cannot fetch any existing column we can only create new column so i hope guys now you are clear with the difference of select column and add columns and now let's move towards the next dax function of our today's class so the next dax function is cross join so let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first it returns a table that contains a cartesian product of all rows from all tables in the arguments the columns in the new table are all the columns in all the argument table and here we have one parameter which is table with the help of cross join guys we can add multiple tables so guys it returns the cartesian product here cartesian product means guys let's suppose if we have a table 1 where we have three records and if we have a table 2 where have another three records so 3 multiply by 3 is equal to 9 so in this way guys this cross join function works and now let's check with this practical so simply go here on powered by desktop so guys here i have taken one country table where i have taken only three records which is india usa and china and the next table is product table here i have taken four records which is fruit bread butter and cake and now let's apply this cross join dax function so we need to simply click here on new table and let me rename this table name as cross join and now i will use my dax function which is cross join so under table one parameter guys i will simply select my table name which is countries comma and under table two parameter guys i will select the second table which is products and close the bracket and hit enter so here we can see guys our answer is 12 because three records are in country table and four records are in product table So four multiplies three is equal to twelve, and now let's go to this cross join table. So here we can see, guys, the first record is fruit. So fruit comes in of each and every record of country table. You guys can see here. 
in the front of India, USA and China. In a similar way guys, each and every product comes to the each and every country. So in this way guys, it returning the Cartesian product. So if we have a 3 record or 4 column, we need to multiply simply 4 into 3 which is 12. If we have a 6 records in A table and 6 record in B table, so our result would be 36. So in this way guys, this cross join returns Cartesian product. And now let's move towards the last DAX function of our today's class, which is data table. It provides a mechanism for declaring an inline set of data values. And here we guys can see we have three parameters, which is column name, data type and value. And with the help of this data table DAX function guys, we can create dummy table. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and understand this DAX function with practical. So firstly, I will click here on new table. And let me rename this table as customers. And now I simply write my DAX function, which is data table and look at the parameter guys. So the first parameter is name one. So under name one parameter guys, we need to enter the column name, which is column header. So my column header name is let's suppose ID and inverted comma close comma and under type one parameter guys, here it is asking for the data type. So our data type is integer comma and now I will press shift plus enter to go into next line. And now I will take my second column name, which is names. And I will write here names comma and under type two parameter guys, I will take string because names cannot be in numbers comma. And now I will add third column, which is country. So again, I will press shift enter and here I will simply write countries inverted comma close comma. And again, data type is string comma. And now I will add one more column here, which is sales. And this is the last column guys. You guys can add multiple columns in this way, but here I'm taking only four columns to create dummy table. So I will simply write here sales and inverted comma close and sales is a integer. So I will take integer here comma. So I have given all the columns name with data type. And now I will enter some values under these column names. And what we need to do guys to enter the values here, we need to start this curly bracket. And under curly bracket guys, I will start one more curly bracket. And here guys, we simply need to enter the values. So the first column name is ID. So under ID guys, I am taking here one, which is integer comma. And the second column name is names. So I will simply write Shubham here. And we need to code this string in inverted commas, comma, and the third column name is countries. So again, I will write here country within inverted commas. This time I will write India, comma, and the last column name is sales. So to type an integers guys, we don't need to code this into inverted comma. You simply need to write number here. Let's suppose 2000 and curly bracket close, comma. And now I will jump into next line. So simply press shift plus enter. And again, we need to follow the same steps. Curly bracket start and let me copy this value and paste it here. So I will edit this to and the next name is let's say Nikhil. And the country is China. And the sales is 3000. Again, we need to copy this and press shift plus enter and paste it here. So ID is three and the next name is let's say Rachit and country is USA and the sales is let's suppose 5000. So in this way, guys, you can add multiple records. And now I will remove this comma from here and curly bracket close. And last guys, I will close this entire formula with this bracket and hit enter. So here we can see guys, our new table has added with customer's name. So let's go to the data view and see our table. So here is the ID guys, names, 
countries and sales and this is the formula guys so with the help of this data table formula guys you can create dummy table although guys you can simply enter the data from here just like in excel simply need to here id names countries and sales so you guys can also add the data from here but here we are covering dax function so we should know about it how data table dax function works so let me cancel this so i hope guys now you are clear with all the dax functions of today's class so do more practice and explore more yourself and stay connect with us and kindly support this channel and if you want to learn free power bi from scratch so here we have free youtube channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham and under this 50 tutorials guys i have explained each and every concept in detail and those who are visit first time on this channel please kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press this bell icon guys else you will miss an update and for the job seekers guys we have this telegram channel where i'm keep posting latest power bi jobs opening and you will also find some latest interview updates and some scenario based questions so you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs and trainings but if you still think you require paid training sessions guys so i am also providing one on one paid training sessions and from day one class guys i prepare for you interview rounds so you guys can connect me on linkedin or telegram channel for more updates both the links are given under the description box and for the free learners guys we have this free youtube channel so keep learning and keep growing thank you so much guys for your more love and support thank you so much